Hi, it's me again with Pro Roll Tips and Tricks. I'm going to attempt to show you how to make this. This one has no lines. This one has lines. I actually started out doing this and it just didn't really come make me anything special. So I made it in triangles. This is really easy to do. Let's take the polygon tool, set on three sided, hold down the control button is the important part. So you get a perfect triangle. I'm going to hit P, put it at the center of the page. Now we just need to make that checker block. We're going to make it like uh, 0.5 inches. I'm going to set my nudge factor on 0.5. I'm going to color this one in in red. And then I'm going to control D and move it over, nudge it. I'm going to make it white. Now I could change my nudge factor to one, but I'm just going to hit control D and hit my click my button twice. And then I can just control D. Then you just want to kind of make sure you've got enough to fill up your triangle at the bottom. Now we've still got our set, nudge factor set on a half inch. We're going to control D and duplicate it up, but then we're going to mirror it the other way. And then because that one's mirrored, we're going to control D and hit our up button twice. And then again and again, and we have that checkerboard. Now we're just going to make sure it fits and it does. I am going to control G to group it. I'm going to make my outline a blue color by right clicking. And I'm going to hit P and put that in the center of the page. I'm going to go to object order back a page. So now I can see my triangle. I'm going to select my checkerboard and I'm going to get the envelope tool. Immediately, I'm going to take away those two nodes and these two nodes. And then I'm going to select the four outer side nodes and I'm going to right click and turn them into a line. We want lines. Now I'm going to take the pick tool, go back to the envelope tool and put that right on that node and then take that one and put it right on right on that node and that node. We're going to probably have to zoom in to tweak it, but I'm just moving them to the node. Now it's pretty important that they're there and they're not there. So we need to go back to the envelope tool and see what we did wrong. We just, I don't have it on that node. Now the lines are awful thick, so that's why they kind of make it look funny. Now I can move this out of the way and get rid of my triangle by hitting D or escape. And then <clears throat> control D and make a duplicate. Click on your object and put it to that node. And then rotate it 60 degrees. Control D, control D, control D, control D. There you have that shape. And then from there you can hit the plus key and move it over. You can take away the lines. You can make the lines thinner. When it's this, it doesn't really matter, but then you can right click and take away the lines and get that kind of a weird shape. Anyway, kind of a fun project. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.